Hi everyone, in this video we will continue our previous video. We will refresh the time for a minute and we'll also show you how to use the sleep method. Um, so what I'm going to do is to define another function and this is going to be called refresh time. I'm going to actually be calling this function and this function will then call display time which in turn calls all the other functions that we've written in the previous video. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a a for loop and I'm going to have a number a variable called a number and I'm just wanting the loop to run for a minute uh, which is 60 so just from uh, 0 to, uh, to 59 so it's going to run 60 uh, times and I'm going to print the time that is returned from our display time method or function. And then I'm, what I'm going to do is just so because of the seconds, I'm going to now use this leap method because I'll show you what happens when we don't. So I'm going to run this and you'll notice that it actually printed everything 60 times, um, which was pretty much the same. Uh, because it all ran in less than a sec uh, in less than a second. So what I'm going to do is I want to use this leap method just so that the uh, the loop will run um, every second. So this will make um, this will make the timer look like the seconds are running rather than just uh, running 60 times. But you notice you have an, a problem. So this is because I actually need to import the module. For time so I'm just gonna import it and it's called time and now it's fine so I'm just gonna run and you'll notice that it's actually pausing or sleeping for a second so the value I put there is one this means one second and it's actually showing you the time and um, it really starts off with the number of seconds it currently is so um, yeah, so this is just going to pretty much run. If I'll stop it, uh, I'll run again. And you'll notice it did not start from... It starts with the current number, what seconds it currently is. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so in the next video, um, I'll be showing you how to actually clear the screen so it doesn't look like I've got 60 frames for the time. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.